Mr. Uh, Vice President for saying no word of thanks but words of thanks because I think that's the feeling in this uh, hall and truly inspired by your inspirational words because uh, every word went into the DNA of this movement and I'm sure everyone present here. So take back those moments with you as a great learning what the President said and I think it means a lot in today's time of turmoil. I see the blessing of Sri Sathya Baba before I address this gathering. I am his uh, devotee. I see the blessings of the Almighty in whatever form you believe in Him to bless this all this gathering, seeing such huge numbers. I am mean, really excited to see the work that my home is doing because uh, when Sri Sunil spoke, he spoke so passionately. But due to protocol, he could not uh, communicate everything that he does in this organization. I have had the good fortune of sharing time with him and understanding the stories that he has been telling me, all the real events of uniting children and the excellent work that this organization does. And when you heard these stories, he just said that he united 2,500 uh, children who were lost. These children are lost, sometimes taken as child laborers, sometimes taken out stolen for work, sometimes put in slave trade, some of them just run away. They are very confused, they are directionless, they are aimless, they don't know what to do. I think an organization like my home literally comes in the form of God to save these. And if I were to tell the story of one child, it would take me two days. So if you tell me the story of 2,500 people, who would take the entire, entire year. But we must commend the institutions like my home who do such extraordinary work. Because there are very few organizations that do such extraordinary work. I think in today's times, we are just concerned with commercial interests. And when you see organizations working for the cause of humanity, working relentlessly, especially its volunteers, there are several volunteers who go free of charge for this organization. And today it's not a day to thank them, but it's a day of gratitude. A day of gratitude to thank them for the excellent work that they are doing. Because uniting a child with their loved ones, with their parents, is something that is close to God. And I remember as a child, I heard J. Krishna Bodhi speak. And he spoke that if you do something lovingly, jointly, meditatively, your actions are closer to God and sometimes even God acts to you. So that is the organization that you are... Uh, that is the organization you are heading to So I thank you for the work that you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think the Honorable Vice President and the previous speaker spoke about uh, India as a peace-loving nation and we believe India as a peace-loving nation. It has never attacked anyone in the history of the world. But we are shown to the world that if we are attacked, if we are taken for granted, if our people are hurt, the sacrifices of soldiers are not taken care of us. We can show to the world that we have the right to retaliate. We have the right to be peaceful to the world. I think when it's a question of righteousness, that is where India stands proud. And today I am truly happy, truly enamored by the sacrifices of our soldiers, because the brave soldiers that went to the border, the brave soldiers that lost their life in these crimes, are something that we should not forget. Because why they went to the border to protect us, why they sacrificed their life at the border, we can live happy together, we can have our smiles, we can mingle with our families. So I think these are the most important people that we should remember. As the Vice President said, they will never forget the mother. Similarly, I think we should not forget about the heart forces. They are one of the best places in the world and today is a day of gratitude. I think when we talk of Bharat, we talk of two Bharat. One is the Bharat that is the Google Bharat and one is the other Bharat which is the cities of the urban India people. And still today there is a great divide amongst these two Bharat. And I think we need to bridge these two Bharat because still a lot of discrimination exists. And I think we need to grow our class, street, religion. And we have to work as a united force, we have to work as a united mass to unite this country. We have been the force for the world to prove to the world that what India is. Honorable Mike has been again spoke for the culture of this great nation. And I think the culture is something that we should not forget because the culture is essentially good and perhaps the only culture that's existed. We talk of a modern world, we talk of a developed world, but then we go back to our historic India, then the only culture perhaps in the world that is so old and predominant. While scientists explore new methodology, scientific advances are coming into the planet. But if you really go back and look at the Vedas, the Shastras, I think there is a lot of knowledge in those. 
So I'm not saying by any chance that the new emerging technologies are not good, but I think we have to go back to what we have because we already have a very advanced science, we already have a very modern India, and I think we need to go back to our roots. And I was very interested to the Vice President said because I think that is the need of the hour. And I'm very happy that currently the government is taking steps to promote these activities. There is a great patriotism among the hearts and minds of the people. And there is a revival of this culture. Because this culture has to be brought to the forefront. Speaking about your mother tongue, appreciation of your parents, appreciation of your mother. And I think we can go on and on. But I would just like to thank everyone present here on the dais, especially the Vice President Sri Venka and I I would like to thank Sri Sunil Devdarji the founder of My Home India. I would uh, like to thank Dr. Bharat Agarwal, Sri Ajay Singh Ji, Sri Sile Anthuna Ji, Sri Mariyoda Paswar Ji, Sri Mohammad Majid Ji, the patron of My Home India, Sri Anil Mittal Ji. I would also like to thank the members of the press, the guests and all the excellent volunteers who are present here. And I would like to thank My Home India and especially the Vice President for coming here and greeting this occasion and raising this occasion. Before I go, I would just like to quote uh, what Sandhya Sai Baba said once. He said in his book that there is only one language, that is the language of the heart. There is only one religion, that is the religion of love. And there is only one caste, the caste of humanity. Ladies and gentlemen,